We are now deep into summer, and August is traditionally known for being a quiet month in terms of video game releases. Xbox, however, are starting to ramp up already for the big video game season, and we have some incredible games coming to Game Pass. With that in mind, today we will be covering the 12 games coming to Xbox Game Pass this August and beyond. My name is Fletcher, this is Xbox Nation. Subscribe for more Xbox content every single day, and let's dive right in. First up and arriving on the 7th of August for cloud console and PC is Creatures of Ava. In this game you explore a vibrant alien world teeming with so much unique wildlife. As a researcher you'll have to study these creatures uncovering their behaviours and their interactions. The game emphasises exploration and discovery offering a relaxing yet engaging experience for players who love nature and science fiction. The detailed environments and lifelike creature animations make Creatures of Ava a visually stunning and immersive experience. Experience. We cannot wait to get our hands on this indie experience and it looks like it'll be one of those gems. One huge game that is coming to Xbox Game Pass this month is the Mafia Definitive Edition and this is one game I highly recommend that you try when it lands on the service on the 13th of August. While it's undeniably dwarfed by Grand Theft Auto, the critically acclaimed Mafia trilogy is a remarkably unique open world series that should not be missed. Mafia Definitive Edition takes the classic open world game to so many brand new heights. It's a very faithful remake but complete with stunning 4k visuals that make it one of the best Xbox games if you want to breathe in a cityscape, especially if you love slick 1930s cars. This game will be arriving onto Xbox Game Pass on the 13th of August for cloud, console and PC. For all you Xbox Game Pass subscribers, you'll be able to get access to a free 10 hour trial of Madden NFL 25 when it launches this August. This year, Madden brings enhanced graphics graphics, improved gameplay mechanics and all new features. You'll be able to experience the thrill of the NFL with realistic player movements, dynamic weather effects and immersive stadium atmospheres. The game now also includes a comprehensive franchise mode, allowing you to manage your team, draft new players and make some awesome strategic decisions. We have all heard that the popular online multiplayer has also been refined for a smoother and more competitive play. Then we have Sopa, an emotional narrative driven game that tells the story of a young girl navigating a world filled with magic and mystery. The game features a beautifully crafted art style that brings its touching story to life. You play as the protagonist, exploring a world filled with fantastical creatures and many hidden secrets. The game's narrative does focus on themes of growth, discovery and ultimately the power of imagination. With its very heartfelt story and unique gameplay mechanics, Sopa promises to deliver a memorable experience that will resonate with players long after they finish the game. This is confirmed with an August release schedule but no fixed date has been set yet but I do expect we will get this next Tuesday. Core Keeper marks the fifth game officially confirmed so far for Xbox Game Pass in the August 2024 lineup. For those unfamiliar with this game, Core Keeper was first released on Steam Early Access back in 2022. During its time on Steam, Core Keeper has been incredibly popular to earn a very positive overall rating. It's described as a mining sandbox adventure and it will likely be appeal to fans of games like like Minecraft and Stardew Valley and it joins Xbox Game Pass on the 27th of August for cloud, console and PC. Now you may have missed this next bit of news but Age of Mythology Retold will be available to Xbox Game Pass subscribers if you purchase the Deluxe Edition and that starts on the 28th of August. This game is combining the best elements of the beloved Age of Mythology with modern real-time strategy design and visuals. Retold is an epic and innovative experience for old and new players alike and you if you're a fan of RTS games then I can say without a doubt that this game needs to be on your radar. The Age of Mythology games were always fantastic with so many great gods, some incredible character and enemy design and some truly unique mechanics not seen in other RTS games. From what we have seen so far the game looks utterly beautiful and I'm still so happy to see so many RTS games making their resurgence on Xbox consoles. Before we dive into the remaining games we should hear more about the other additions coming to Xbox Game Pass for August next Tuesday, so make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on this new update. We do cover Xbox content every single week and it would be great to see you come on this Xbox journey with us. Now with that out of the way, let's dive back into the remaining games. Publisher Maximum Entertainment has announced that their upcoming title Overthrown is coming to Game Pass on console and PC this fall. Overthrown describes itself as a 1-6 player co-op city builder where you can lift anything and fight enemies. The game 
game features a stylish combat system inspired by anime, and one of the main gimmicks is that players are able to pick up and throw down anything to build their cities. It looks interesting and should definitely be on the radar of any Xbox Game Pass subscribers needing some more co-op games to play with their friends. Now, in case you missed it, we have a mammoth release onto Game Pass as of the 24th of July, and that was for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This is the first Call of Duty game to enter Game Pass since the Activision Blizzard acquisition, and it's a fantastic ad for the service. This game follows on from Modern Warfare 2 and follows Soap, Captain Price and the gang as they hunt down Makarov as he's escaped from a high security prison. The campaign was universally disliked for its short run time and poor plot, however the game really shines in the multiplayer department. Many state that this is the best Call of Duty multiplayer in recent years, with tons of new seasonal free content, multiple modes, and a boatload of weapons and customization options at your disposal. Definitely check this one out if you haven't already, as it's available for Xbox Game Pass on console and PC right now. Another huge free Xbox game has released and has a huge perk for Xbox Game Pass subscribers, and that is Valorant. They are currently having a free open beta for all Xbox gamers, but Xbox Game Pass subscribers get the bonus of having all agents being automatically unlocked upon starting the game. You also get day one access to every new agent released and also a 20% match XP bonus that applies to both the battle pass and event content. This is a massive saving of over $100 and I don't think that gets shouted out about enough. If you're interested in trying out Valorant then certainly give it a go on Xbox if you haven't already, especially as it's free to play. One update that I did want to provide is for Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, we did get confirmation from the developers last week that the game has now been pushed back to a November release date, so we will have to wait another couple of months until we get our hands on this exciting experience. It is a shame for the game to get delayed again, but due to the nature of the dev situation, I think we can all agree that a wait is A-OK. -okay. If you're interested in Stalker 2, let me know down below, as we cannot wait to get our hands on this new entry in the genre-defining franchise. Grand Theft Auto 5 is reportedly coming to Xbox Game Pass for PC. This would be the first time that it's been available on Game Pass for PC library, and it's unclear if that means it's a return to the console lineup as well. This comes from Rockstar leaker Tez2, who says that the studio is preparing GTA 5 for Game Pass for PC right now. There's no word on a release date yet, with Tez2 saying it will be made available on the service sometime in the future. Over the years, GTA 5 has been on and off of Game Pass, but only ever for console. Right now, it isn't available on Game Pass for any subscription tier so we'll have to wait and see if it will finally be available to all, or if it comes to PC at all. It is fantastic to see more Activision Blizzard games dropping into Game Pass, and it's a heavy rumour that we will also get access to the excellent Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy as of the 8th of August. Originally released to the Windows and Xbox One platforms on June 29th, 2018, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy brings the modern remakes of the three PlayStation Classic to Xbox players. It is an incredible remake and so widely praised by many in the gaming sphere, and from my own personal hands on it, you definitely need to give it a go. Here's hoping the rumour is true, and we will get to experience this awesome platformer. Unfortunately, as it is a new month with new Game Pass releases, we are seeing some games leaving the service. The games leaving on the 15th of August are Airborne Kingdom for console, PC and cloud, Offworld Trading Company for PC, Shadow Warrior 3 Definitive Edition for console, PC and cloud, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre for console, PC and cloud. Remember, if you want to continue playing these games or want them in your library forever, then you can take advantage of purchasing these games at a 20% discount thanks to your Xbox Game Pass subscription. What do you rate the offering on Xbox Game Pass for August and beyond? Are you excited about any of these potential rumours? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe so you don't miss out on the new Game Pass news due next Tuesday. Whilst here, why don't you check out our most recent video of the 20 best RPGs on Xbox Game Pass in 2024.